All right, everybody, it's that time again. I hope you're doing well and hope you're still enjoying following along with this. So this is the next part of working on this guy. Um, so again, doing some detail work and trying to uh, go in and add some highlights and some evening out and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen the other ones, I'll put the links and the cards and so forth. And you can just kind of track back or just go look for part one and move forward from there. So, but again, I like how it's coming along, you know, even on this zoomed in section I, I think his face looks really good it's got a lot of depth to it a lot of tone and so forth so so what i'm doing here is on these rolled edges of the helm is trying to add in some uh, evened out metal highlights and so forth so using kind of a bluish gray and you noticed uh, well i don't know if you noticed or not but what i did there was i went down to the eye and actually pulled that color using alt and then um took that to use this for my highlights because again pulling from the painting throughout it that's what gives you that even color um, and then trying here to use the blending tool and, and uh, stuff to try and make these kind of flow together but still keep that painterly I don't want to overly smudge it and overly soften it but uh, that's what I'm doing right now is just kind of trying to blend all these edges together so this one I only spent probably about 25 30 minutes on it today working on it because all I've had time to do so far and uh, but yeah I wanted to uh, keep it keep the process moving and, and keep it uh, going so and I do appreciate those that have left comments or sent me private messages and stuff about how this is going that's really encouraging uh, it's good to know that people are getting some stuff out of it and that it's um, you know it's uh, some people have told me that it's encouraging them to try some paintings and, and do some stuff so so yeah, so just you guys keep at it too, and definitely share with me. You know, if you're making stuff uh, and you've got it here on YouTube or or somewhere else, put a link and let me know, uh, or shoot me a private message and I'll check it out because I definitely want to. And if you haven't already, connect with me over on Facebook in my group. Uh, there's a nice little group over there that's keeping uh, conversations going about different things like this and working on stuff. So it's really good. So right now what I'm doing is adding in some details, some shadows with the uh, pen tool. Again, the water setting real low, but I wanted to make these edges for this brass work stand out a little more. So that's just a little bit of selective black lining shadows here and there. Again, don't want to outline all of it because if you do, it's going to just make it look um, flat. So by just doing selective outlines and paying attention to where the color, I mean, not the color, but the light's coming from and everything else kind of gives you that, that nice, uh, raised edge so that's what I'm doing here still need to go back and work on the nose um, which is much more obvious coming back looking at what I did paint and what I didn't paint uh, but I do need to go and fix that a little bit because again it's still looking like it's just sitting directly on the nose and it wouldn't be but right now I'm just gonna keep playing around with these things and trying to to fix them and, and do it so and I usually do this uh, when I'm considering how to do the other thing and which is really kind of what I'm doing right now is, is again making these edges look raised and everything else but at the same time I'm still trying to consider how am I going to fix that nose breaker to uh, look correct and so that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out uh, using the chalk tool again to kind of get that that same look for that metal uh, I've got it on a separate layer again so that way I can kind of play around with it again I'm trying to keep these you know one two layers deep at most so that way um, uh, it really pushes me to paint and, and part of the reason I do that by the way I don't know if I've mentioned it or not but part of the reason I do that is because you can become a an undo short key or hot key um, an undo slave you know you can not trust yourself to do things and not trust yourself to change things so that's why I try not to paint on a whole lot of layers or sometimes I do it because it's just easier to control final tweaks and, and things like that but I try not to, to overly do it so that I don't get dependent upon undos and multiple layers and, and stuff like that but instead try and treat it very much the same way I would if it was an oil painting or an acrylic painting and so forth so um, so that's why I'm not overly trying to uh, use a lot of layers plus it requires a lot less uh, processing power for the computer so and that helps I mean even though I've got a good computer and it's, it works fairly well um, you know 
having these small things here and there that kind of keep it from being overly taxed works too. One of these days I'm going to get a screaming computer that just absolutely, you know, destroys it for being able to work with super high res and everything else. So, but this one's pretty good. It's 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 a new computer. So, it's a gaming computer that I uh, bought to use, and it works, you know, works really well. So, all right. So you can see we're um, going in and adding that stuff. Uh, so now. Um, Got to looking at it, it's like, okay, the face is really far along, and the rest of it really isn't. <laughs> so, time to, to consider working on that stuff. And so that's what I'm doing here, is trying to uh, start bringing in some of that. And like I said, I'm, I'm still not positive how finished I'm going to make this part. Um, mainly just because I want the focus to definitely be the face, and that's why I've worked so much on the face. But... Um, I do want to have some of the finished look to the rest of it. Although having, you know, some of it unfinished is kind of a cool aesthetic. So, um, so right here I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the tunic and the armor uh, and everything that he's wearing. So, trying to play around with that and figure out exactly what I like and how I like it to look. And again, building that texture and building that... Um, uh, those layers just like I did with the face and anything else so all of it builds one thing on top of another so so yeah so what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments So I did decide I wanted to um, see about doing a red cape, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, so that's what I started laying in here. And I need to do it before I work more on that hair, so I've got to paint right over it. So that's what I'm working on with this, is trying to get all this set up and moving forward with, uh, to get everything tied together and pulled together and, you know, get it set up so this is the marker tool and the uh, on top of the chalk tool and everything else so and by doing this in layers uh, for this part now this is one of the areas where I do like to use layers because I can lay in quick color and then do um, you know, if I need to see what underneath it and use multiply or something like that to really get a feel for it and see it but um, that is one of the areas that I like using it for. So. So in here with the armor, you know, trying to figure out, am I going to, uh, I looked at the scale armor from a couple of different other things and trying to figure out if that's what I might go with, or if I might go with chain, uh, like chain mail or something, this thing going across here, the clasp, I'm going to probably come back and do a chain and then these medallions and stuff, not to mention the trim, um, you know, just starting to lay that foundation. Kind of planning doing this plaid kind of a look. Um, let's see what I think of it. So, but even even just doing that, you know, starts to really kind of pull it all together and tie it together. So um, kind of like the way that's starting to look with it and kind of blend it all together. I really like the way that helmet turned out, by the way. So. Um, 
trying to reproduce some of that feeling down here. But yeah, I'm enjoying this process. I hope you guys are too. Like I said, you know, I don't keep saying that over and over, but it's just, it's fun to put it out here and let you guys see my entire process as I'm doing this. And, and hopefully uh, my explanations of it is helpful. It's not just ramblings. Uh, hopefully you're getting something out of it by seeing the, the thoughts and the processes that I'm going through and everything else. Because I know for some of these things, when you see speed paintings, it's like wham, bam, done. And you're like, wow. I'll never do that. At least for me, it is. You know, I look at some of these artists. I'm like, how do they do that? And then I realize, oh wait, they go through the exact same process I do <laughs> of trying to lay everything out. Um, so this is one thing I wanted to do, and I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing here. Is I, I needed to have him separated from the background a little more because if you squint your eyes, he's there, but he he doesn't really pop. And so I wanted to do a, a little bit of what's called rim lighting. And background lighting so that's kind of what I'm doing here but I, again I want to keep the painterly texture I don't want to just like airbrush in some light um, but instead have something more like the uh, that texture you see on oil paintings and stuff like that where they've got all the background stuff there so that's what I'm doing here is just trying to smudge in some uh, lighting behind him to kind of make him stand out more on everything and I'll probably keep pushing that some more but anyway, so yeah, trying to uh, wrap this one up. Like I said, I didn't work on it super long today, but just uh, this bit that you've seen here. And I, again, I hope it's been really helpful. I'm going to try and work on it the next uh, segment tonight and hopefully get it uploaded soon. But that's it for now. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, share it on social media. Come visit me over on Facebook. And uh, again, I really appreciate all the comments and, and stuff that I'm getting uh, through private message and, and also left on these. It's really encouraging. So uh, just keep painting away, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks.